Hello, this is Haka Devine, and today we are going to be tumbling again. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Now let's get right into this. Because I want to have some fun. I spy a swan, a turtle, a lizard, a bear, mom, and a bone repair. Four owls, a yardstick, a spool, a comb, beware a mouse, and anybody's home? I'm not gonna actually look for this, but dang. Look, a, a kitty. They had a lot of 70s houses, didn't they? Oh gosh! Oh! That's a smaller than I thought. I spy a beetle, a stick in the grass, one dozen ants, two birdies of grass, eight hands, a frog, a seafaring bird, a spider, twin ducks, and a backward. Once again, these are really small places that look so much larger than they are. Wow, well, I'm not trying to open a link, I'm trying to open an image. There it is. That took me longer to find than it should have. Okay. Well, unsnooze the tab. I'm trying to open it here. Please, let me zoom in. Okay, beautiful. Plan B, it's a personal robotic bee designed to mimic how bees pollinate flowers and crops. Beautiful. And instead of saving the environment and helping actual bees, that's when building it into robots that do what bees do would do for free. Don't you just love capitalism? Blackbeard predicted this. We are all gonna die. My god, but I get mad when somebody flippantly dismisses the important scientific progress because you can make it sound that um by framing it the right way. For sight, of course a law of science and sounds dumb. Say it is, is all in the slogging through the ma in which a, the failures of T.S. Frost of filling it in the blank spaces on the map because it ain't glamorous. But if someone doesn't do it, no one gets to know for sure what's there. Someone's got to spend their career or, or measuring flight and tell you under a microscope. Frankly, I'm grateful to the person who's tackling that to you. Because if they did it, I might have to. And I don't want to. Well, let's talk about why we should care about this particular science and spend money on it. Uh, and I'll even answer without glancing at the article. Off the top of my head, adva answers in robotics, advances in miniature robotics, advances in flight technology, advances in simulating and understanding the mechanics and programming of small intelligences, ability to grow, grow crops in places uninhabitable or by insects, space, cold, hot, places where honeybees are non-native and detrimental to the ecosystem. Less straight on bees. Why do poorly, who do poorly when forced to pollinate monocultures of low nutrient nutrition plants? The ability to run tightly controlled experiments on pollination on the effects of bees on plant and and physiology on ecosystem dynamics, etc. Fucking robot bees, my friend. <laughs> Think how confused those planets must be. I mean, those flowers must be. Sorry. <clears throat> Also, worth keeping in mind, people love, love, love framing science and condescending and silly sounding terms as an excuse to cut funding to vital programs. Especially if it's also well associated with uh, something <gasps> inappropriate like sex or lady parts. This is why research of a lot of women's issues, LGBTQ plus issues, minorities issues, and normal groups in general those issues tend to lag so far behind the times. This is why some groups are pushing so hard to cut funding for climate change research these days. 
Anything that's that's acquired governmental funding has been through an intensely a competitive months to years long screening by experts in the field who have a very good idea of what research is likely to be most beneficial to that field and fill needed gap. Very real. There's more though. Uh, so let's just remember that um, there's a reason why we won't really have winter in 50 years from now. Actually, more like 20 years from now. Trust me, the paperwork haunts my nightmares. So we had a joke in my lab. Nice work, college boy. It was a phrase for any project that you could spend years and years working on and end up with results that could be summed up on a single pretty slide with an uh, apparently obvious graph. The phrase was taken from something a grower said at a talk my advice gave us a graduate suit. So he proved that plants grow better when they're watered. Nice work, college boy. The thing is, there's always more details than that. And a lot of times, it's important that somebody questions our assumptions. A lab mate of mine, and doing very similar research, I'm sorry, that are supposed to the effect of water stress on plants and fitness have been wrong for years because nobody had thought to separate the different ways of planning for water stress. Continuously, inverse, etc. And turns out, these have drastically different effects, with drastically different measures required for response for, to them to keep from losing lots of money and resources in agriculture. Nice work, college boy. Point the second. Surprise! Anna Hado Hadawang is an industrial design student. She developed this in her product design class, and as far as I could tell, she had no particular funding at all for this project, much less billions of dollars. Congrats, Anna! You fucking rock! Okay, as on a lighter note, summarizing research to make it sound stupid is both easy and fun. Check out at Low My Thesis. I highly recommend. I'd also like to chime in and that a chunk of my family are apple farmers, and the one thing I learned visiting them is that you, you can't always let bees pollinate. With certain apple varieties, people have to go out with little paintbrushes to pollinate them by hand. Because if they if they cross pollinate with the wrong variety, the apples won't come out the same. Bee bots could essentially be a huge time saver at that task. Because depending on how the algorithms work, you could just tell them don't go into the gallop field next door. I love the job more efficiently than you. Without having to worry about getting beard meat and apples. Can I mention that reverse engineering shit from nature er, and in the process as learning how it works is also the way we've developed technologies that have far wider application too? Also, we. It, also, have we not learned from episodes already that water is wet studies are actually hugely important as both proof against water deniers and getting clear on what water and wetness are? And actually, I think a lot of people have said that water is not wet, it's sticky. Weirdly enough, it makes things wet, but water itself is not wet. My buddy from Chechnya just moved here and changed his name to Clenward. He wants to be one of the most famous guys ever, and I want to help him make his dreams come true. He spends most of his time watching more YouTube than anyone I've ever met. He wants to put a city on a map. He wants to be a household name. I think he has the most potential of anyone on Earth, probably. I really think he will make it big in the next few years. Let's root for, Ke for Clenward. He can do it. I believe in him. I keep thinking all the Mars rovers are the size of a medium dog, but I am wrong every single time. The one in the middle looks like a guy. <laughs> yeah, it does. Oh well. Oh no. I don't know with these I actually have to zoom in on to actually see because I'm blind. And these! All right, cool. Ah, 
Frodo triggered. Is this anything? Hello? Is anyone there? Hey! Don't need a hand job right now, but thanks for the offer. What the... What the fuck? <laughs> and you get to hear the Amori sounds too. I am sick and tired of seeing so much hate towards Al. Al hasn't done anything to hurt anyone. Al is harmless. But I can already hear the hey, Al, Al haters out there. Al is in the original. No shit, Sherlock. That's what we love the most about Al. He wasn't supposed to look like that. That sounds like a problem between you and God. And frankly, plenty of people look the way Al looks. Al is just weird. Ever thought that you might be normal? Have you ever thought that you might be too normal to actually appreciate Al? I think you all need to apologize to Al right now. Apologize to him. Oh, I love Al. Apologize to Weird Al right now! This post is dangerous. It's on the site. I am notorious for having zero reading. This post is dangerous on the site. Notorious for having zero reading comprehension. If you have a new screen, you're supposed to be feeling pretty fucking and smug right now. <laughs> Wait, am I screen? Google oh, Maps wrapped 2023. You could use your left and right 523 times. Your most traveled to the destination was your own home. You said, girl, shut the fuck up to the voice giving directions every time I told you you'd made a wrong turn. Respect Navi. That's why I call it. I hate how overtly my parents are. Everything that is drawn or anime is automatically low quality, objectively bad, and with negative uh, educational value for children. But it were not to be received, let alone enjoyed by adults. But don't have the spine to own up to it when I called him out on every piece of ever watch anything animated with me or their grandkids and visibly snare her every time I watch she with the little ones or recommend an, an animated version of anything ever. Literally. My parents too. My greatest tragedy is that I always want to nap right up until 10 p.m. when I feel utterly alive and electrified. You know what really irks me about Australians? They call McDonald's Maccas. Why? You're drunk with own understand, okay? We go to the server for food, we go to Macas for burgers, when you go to a bottle of for Grog. Oh, hey, what the hell is Grog? It's like he's trying to speak to me. I know it. Delusional, oh, cosplayers. Real Italians. Punic Wars too. I mean, they did also have a second Punic War. That was pretty significant and thing that happened. I kind of understand where you're coming from, but they very much did have a second Punic War. Punic Wars three. The Punic Wars have a series of three conflicts involving the Roman Republic and the Empire of Carthage from 264 BCE until 146 BCE. Unic Wars 4! Let's go. Me? Oh, my sauce is missing in something. Help! Garlic. <laughs> oh dear, I'm curious about what this is going to be about.
I don't have a picture, but I was reading about something that I thought you might appreciate. Mm. Apparently, the Large Hadron Collider has emergency soft controls inside the particle accelerator tunnels with alarms inside that give a two minute warning before any time the particle beam comes on. In case anything were to go so horribly wrong, I end up having people on inside when they turn it on. Oh my god, yes! Everything needs an emergency soft button on the inside! We don't need another tuna instant! Google tuna canning instant if you don't care about getting good night's sleep. I'm not doing that to you a lot, sorry. Alright, let me look it up, up real quick. Oh gosh. Jesus Christ. I don't want to know. I'm scared. Tell me it in the comments. We got uh, uh, so you want to oh, weird in my day. Why is this a why is this st statistic hurting my heart? Why can I not read? Okay. Cautious who had this is a non emotional relationship with their parents has significantly higher rates of hypertension and heart disease la is layered in the soon to report close and emotionally connected relationships. Heart patients who felt loved had 50% less arterial damage than those who said they did not feel loved. Wow, so cardiac issues are just uh, another uh, or fun gift my parents are giving to me along with the anxiety and low self-esteem. Emotional distress literally damages your heart because apparently evolution likes metaphors almost as much as crabs. Wow. That was a lot of noise. Anyway, a causeway photo so old it was taken on actual film, which explains its streak from a scanner, and the economy you were at doesn't even exist anymore. It was around 13 years ago, actually, now that I think about it. 13 years ago. 20. 14 is 13 years ago. This is ridiculous. It's called Tumblr Live. Dies. Yeah, I think a lot of uh, social media sites like to try and add in a live thingy and then it just doesn't really work right. <sighs> Will Will Smith Smith? Is a grammatically correct sentence. So is Will Smith. Will Smith. Smith will. Smith will. I was just realized it could be a conversation. Will Will Smith Smith. Will Smith. Will Smith. Get or not in agreement. Smith will. Smith will. And who is that? Who isn't that good at English reading this and just thinking, what is wrong with these people? With these people? What is wrong? Tumblr, if it had a downvote option, negative one notes. <laughs> if you stop laughing at this, this is John getting mad Garfield and he just has lasagna. You did it! You broke get our front down to its basic fundamentals! Now what can we do? I had a baby, but it was so ugly, people thought I got knocked up by a goat. Lamb. The Minotaur. Baphomet. <laughs> oh, that's from one time I dreamt. Emt. Go roll up, up to the wizard battle and your or opponent takes out the spellbook, but it's just one of these. I'd leave. This is a sign that my opponent has the most fucked up unethical spells imaginable. And I'm not about to be subject to um, Malchazar's piercing prostate bomb or something. You never truly leave a fandom. Someday, down the road, you're going to remember the Blorbo you were obsessed with when you were 10 and never recover the brain rot that will attack you out of nowhere. Be with Vocaloid. I thought I escaped. It's back. And it's worse than ever. I went right back there. 
I know I'm a her, but dang it, I'm not supposed to go back to Vogue Lloyd. Thought I left that behind forever ago. But no. You never escaped the Vogue Lloyd fandom. <laughs> oh wow. Yeah, this reminds me of the um one card in the Final Fantasy. Oh my goodness, why do you have a skull in your tea? The more you look at this picture, the more anxious it becomes. It's cause I think this guy fell over. This guy's like whatever. This guy's blind but he's reading a newspaper. That's a pretty big sign of he just doesn't want to fucking talk to you. I mean, the tea is the most obvious thing, but oh my goodness. This is just a normal Waffle House. There's a bloody handprint on the door. Something under the counter with the cups. Wait, let me see. I didn't even see a door. Oh. I know a Waffle House. Is that a tentacle wrapped around the little boy's arm? This little boy. Oh, it is. <laughs> We're not going to talk about uh, the eye on that man's plate. Oh, gosh. You really do miss a lot of details when you don't look back at it. I like to forget that. I like to be... It'd be like that at Waffle House. The blind old guy has fish gills. What? Hang on. Let me zoom in a bit more. Oh my goodness, he does. That's crazy. Have none of you been to a Waffle House? I have. Not... So I guess this is pretty normal? Okay. Takes figures out of their boxes, by the way. So patches on your favorite... Take figures out of their boxes, by the way. So patches on your favorite jacket. Go to bed with your favorite plushies. Wear the pants you usually save for special occasions. Draw something cool on your wall. Put a sticker on your laptop. Dye your hair and pierce your lips. Glass is meant to break. Metal is meant to rest. Items are meant to be used. That's how the world knows that somebody loved them. When my aunt died of COVID, we had to clean out a lot of stuff that she was saving. Foods she was going to try. She was a great chef. Spices she'd never opened or only used sparingly. Lotions and bath things she hadn't used. After she died, I started making a point of using things up. The good vanilla that has to be imported that we finally found more of, we'd use it early announced before she passed away. Even though we love it. Of it. I just got my family new bottles of it for Christmas because we used one up. We enjoy that happiness. Sometimes I still get the impulse to wait for something special or offer, awful to save nice things for celebration or comfort. The phrase that always echoes in my mind is, use a good vanilla. And I have been. Burning the candles, squaring the body wash, dissolving the bath bombs, pulling the saffron and things. It's been great. Use the good vanilla. I have always been a proponent for using the good china for a basic dinner. Use a nice lotion and the favorite perfumes. Yeah, sure. One day you'll use it up, and that'll be that. But so too could be said about you. Enjoy it while you can. Very real. What goes on here? I'm actually kind of confused about that too. Texas gave up the land so they, at, they could keep slavery. When Texas sought to enter the Union in 1845 as a slave state, the federal law in the United States based on the Missouri Compromise prohibited slavery north of 36 degrees to 38 parallel Old North under the Compromise of 1850. 
Texas rendered its lands north of 36 degree is 30 latitude. Makes sense. What the fuck? What did Ed South Park fans do to you? No, really. What did they do to you? We're just here doing our own thing and you come and mocking us. Stop mocking us. We know what we're into. We reject canon. We ignore the bad writing. Is this because there's a canon gay couple? Something you wish happened in Sonic? Is that why? Do you hate gay kids? You freaking twat. I don't know. What never happened? Fuck you. The South Park community hates, hates you. Learn to do better. <laughs> okay, to be fair, they have a little bit of a point. Why are you getting mad at a different end community? You shouldn't be throwing any stones in a glass house. You're a Sonic fan and you're making fun of the South Park community. That, that is the definition of throwing stones in a glass house. I mean, sure, the South Park community is very toxic too. But all fandoms are toxic. If you're in a fandom and you're making fun of a different fandom, you're you're really just being a hypocrite at that point. I try to run, but I know it's futile. Futile. I can't say that word. A breath catches in my chest as I inevitably stumble, crashing to the ground. I try to scramble to my feet, but it's too late. Your emo has found me. Your email has found me. Oh my goodness. Five year plan. 22 to 2024. Fuck it. We've all. 2025. Fully developed for brain. 2026. If still insane, kill self. If normal, start podcast. Dang. We're running out of time to fuck it. We've all. God, I love Lethal Company's lore. This concept of this one man's story being passed down through hundreds of years to those who would need it. So they know what they're doing so they can make their own choices. How, how people ser per er ser reserved it for hundreds of years for those who would come after themselves. We were here. We made mistakes. We wrote these so you wouldn't make the same ones. So you could know what you're fighting for and so you could fight against it. Beautiful. Free vlog to drop a car battery on the post below. Oh no, my car battery is missing. I hope someone on my dashboard happens to have a spare. <laughs> Literally perfect. <sighs> Another long lecture. Dream of a space-timeline split. This is a weird one. I had a dream last night. The dream was that Varshav went to space in a, a rocket ship and something bad happened. Apparently he flew too close to a black hole or something and suffered from some serious time dilation. In a dream that was referred to as Perhexilion. This caused a split in timeline where two versions of me now exist at the same time in the present. Ron was stuck in a time loop in space and had aged over years referred to as future me. <clears throat> and the other exists on Earth before going on the rocket ship, referred to as past me or POV me since I was experiencing the dream from this person's point of view. So from my... Per Point of view in my dream, I woke up, looked at the news, and saw that a future version of me had gone on a rocket trip if, to space, experienced time dilation, or perhaps the unit when it was a second in space, in space, a time loop, and was also older. So my dream has lore now. <laughs> NASA had this cool telescope that they were using to show everyone the future me's predicament, and was considered a rescue mission, but unsure if future me was even technically alive in a time loop.
<laughs> the more surreal experience was seeing people on Reddit meme on Future Me's predicament. A popular conspiracy theory was that Future Me was somehow responsible for the incident. I didn't believe that, but I had no proof to dispute it since I had no memories of what exactly happened to Future Me. Some people made memes like, well, imagine this guy being stuck in a time loop and getting older and probably hoping that he, when he gets rescued, he comes back several years later and is able to play GTA 6 or TS6. Imagine how disappointed he'd be when he comes back to the present and learns no time had passed for us. So he got older and waited for nothing. Lamea. So, here's basically a stretch, a like illustration of what happened. Day for me, 2023. I'm guessing November 10th. Day for Earth, 2023, November 10th. Or or they're American. I'm not really sure. A version of me that's about to go into space. Right, let's, legend. Stuff that happens to future me, not my POV. Stuff and that happens to past, that's POV me, this is my POV. No, the dates aren't exact, like a rough demo of what's going on. <sighs> Date for me, 2024, December 11th. Date for Earth, 2024, December 11th, or November 12th. I'm not really sure. Who cares? A version of me that's about to go f oh, to fly near the black hole. Thomas Wilson said the two versions of me that exist at the same time in the same timeline. <sighs> Date for me, 2040, 20, 11, um, December 11th, and or November 12th, who cares. Date for Earth, 2024. December 11th or or December or November 12th. Future is out trapped in the space time loop and has uh, okay. Day for me 2023 10 and 11. Day for Earth 2024 11 11. Earth means it has got space and I have his POV. Day for me 23 10 11. Day for Earth 24 11 11. I see all the news and memes of Future Me's predicament. But why? <laughs> Alright, just a few more. You're being nice to me. You must want something out of me. No, believe it or not, before social media turned us all into a bunch of paranoid, pessimistic ghouls, people would do nice things because it felt like the right thing to do. I just tried to keep those traditions alive. Okay, this has to be the last one. The Teledirect Guy voice. Blood is fueling its stylish FPS. Mankind is dead. Hell is full and only one machine can empty it. As a combat robot V1, go shoot last punch and uh, coin ricochet your way through the dances of hell. Ultra kill, oh, ultra kill, sl crush slides its way onto the Nintendo Switch later today. Going to ultra kill you. <laughs> About twice a year, my partner will want to will use my toothbrush and get disgruntled when I t call him a vowel beast. <laughs> I can't find my toothbrush using yours. No? Well, we're going to proper after. No! You kiss me. I don't tenderly work the plaque out of your fucking teeth with my tongue. Yeah, why don't you? Is this me? Is this what I look like? <laughs> Alright, that was our slash Tumblr. If you like this video, please like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. I have no idea what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, so until then, goodbye!